And on this journey in hell, I was one night walking with the Lord, and he said, I'm going to show you the fun center in hell. It's like a Roman theater, and the devil is sitting up in his throne at the top of this big rock place. It was all rocks. And it was similar to a Roman theater where they used to torment the men, you know, and kill them, let the lions come out and eat them. Well, here was a Satan on his throne. He had a book out on a, on a big... Uh, he was in a chair, and the book was on a, like a throne, okay? And there was names on that. And then the demons had went through hell and picked out certain people and had them lined up. All you see skeletons, you know, and they were men and women, top of their voices, and they were crying. And the Lord said, this is horrible, but I want you to tell the people of the world about it. The devil would throw his head back and roar and laugh. And you could see him, he was solid looking. He had big horns, his face was red looking. He was very, very demonic looking. He looked kind of like the old movie, The Legend, is what he looked like. Had the hoof feet and everything. And he's sitting up there and he's huge, he's so big. And they bring these uh, people before the throne. The first, I think it was a man. And all around the edges there's these demons with spears and growling and laughing. And they brought this uh, person up in front of the throne and uh, he opens up this book and he said, well, I see uh, when you were on the earth in uh, the beginning, you used to preach the gospel. That's what he called it, the gospel. And according to my report, you got many people to turn and their way stopped. The, he watched how he worded it, okay? He said, you got many people to turn from uh, darkness into light. That's what he said. And he said, I see here a list of the things you did. So what we did, the devil looked at him and said, we sent out a crew of demons to stop you. He said, we sent them out to come and to stop your works because you were doing too much uh, in the light. That's how he would word it. And he said, uh, we deceived you, and then I set a trap for you and killed you when you were in deep sin, and that's why you're in hell. That's what he told him. He said, I didn't give you a chance to repent. Said God, he did say this. He said, God has grace and mercy. Why do not? He said, I have no mercy. And he said, all those that were in line with you, I did the same to them. They used to be believers on the earth. And I thought about it, and I looked at the Lord. I said, Lord, he is truly a deceiver and a master, art a master. He said, yes, child. It says all through the book, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy and he deceived these people that you see in line. And right at their vulnerable state, he killed them because they, they uh, were in traps. They were in cage, ensnarled by him, I should say, ensnarled by him. And the devil began to laugh, and he said, uh, tormentors, come and get him, get her or him. What happened, she, this corpse was standing there, and they would each one would come and pull an arm off, pull the head off, the legs off, and the tarso they had. So they would take that body where they pulled it apart and they would scream. Every piece of that body would scream for the other part. And they would take it all over hell and bury it, laughing. After all this is done, then they scream so loud, their screams are heard. And I don't know by who, but he said, God has mercy and sends power and puts them all back together again. Now that's horrible. That's horrible. And you think about what a, what a wicked, wicked devil is, and you better get mad at him. You better get really angry in the name of Jesus. You better stand up, fight for your family because he's real. It's an unseen force, and that's why I preach. That's why I pray, and that's why I travel, to tell people, you know, it, it, to wake up, you know, time is short.